Hey guys, it's me, it's your best friend, it's Carvot, here with another Let's Draw for the newest hero for Heroes of the Storm, Anna from Overwatch. Give it up for Anna. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm going to make her uh, Carbot Anna. So we're going to simplify her uh, and, uh, yeah, try to leave out as much detail as possible without leaving out the uh, character and the things that stand out about the character. Um, so I have kind of drawn her before already in the Overwatch, but I'm going to do it again just because, whatever, maybe we find a better design. Um, and whenever I uh, draw a design, sometimes I do... Uh, Sometimes I do not stick with that design. Um, you can see it in some episodes. The zealot from the very first episode does change. Uh, if you look at the zealot from the StarCraft series uh, now. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to keep the... So in other words, it's not going to be final design. Or could be, if it's good enough. So she's got a trench coat, so I'm going to give her... Just, I'm just do this right now. Actually, you know what? Make it even uh, a little shorter. Got to keep that kind of... Uh, cute little aspect. Okay, so she's got this hood, and then she's got another hood. So I'm just gonna friggin' <laughs> do this, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and then she's got, jeez, man. Uh, it's it's about picking and choosing what details you want to leave out. So we're gonna do uh, this, and then. The swoop of hair. I don't think I'm gonna do the eye thing, just because. I mean, here I'll do it for this thing, but in the cartoons, it probably won't be there unless I'm feeling extra uh, uh, detailed that day. Yes. But uh, yeah, so she's got this trench coat. Now we could draw the. Uh, we could leave it like that, which I think is actually fine. Um, uh, or we could open it up, and maybe sometimes I will open it up. But uh, so this time, because we're just drawing a picture, I will. But I think for the most part, I might leave it closed. Maybe I won't open it up. So I'm just kind of scribbling because I'm finding out what the the character is going to look like. And if you're wanting to draw, be an artist. Um, okay, the whole program just crashed. Save, yes. All right, so the program crashed. We're just going to open it back up. Uh, hopefully it's still there. Yes. Thank you, Adobe Animate. This is Adobe Animate, by the way. It's gotten way better. It's it's crash. It still crashes uh, every now and again, but uh, just like that right there helps it uh, makes it a lot more tolerable because it actually saved me just there but i had to restart this whole recording over again okay so then we're going to give her a gun i hate characters with the rifles because now i have to draw this the rifle and i don't want to uh draw uh such a specific shape um uh because then i have to do all these intricacies it's not as fun i don't hate it but it's just an inconvenience i guess this looks like a nose right now there <laughs> all right so now what we're gonna do is make her a Anna a symbol and then we're gonna do the, so that was a rough and now we're gonna do the good um, so let's go ahead and do, start with the head I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with this design boom head uh, and now the the opening of the hood. There we go. Um, and now the hair. No, sorry, we got the the bottom part of the hood or the inner hood. And now the hair. I'll add in that little. So we're just gonna do one eye. Um, the other one's gonna be covered. I make a new layer, put on the body. There we go. 
and the legs. Uh, see that again. Control that was dead. There we go. The legs. Very nice. New layer. Gonna do the arms and gun now. So Anna, what she does, she's a healer support. And uh, she is actually quite an interesting support. I think people have been pretty happy with the design. Like, I think they, they really like uh, the design. Uh, she It's it's for the most part a port over from Overwatch, but it is a unique support healer uh, design character. And I think people uh, really like the way it's been um, uh, integrated into Heroes, uh, as far as I've seen. I think that's the case for almost every hero, though. Um, and so what she does is she basically the thing is so crooked she has like a lunar type poison attack where it stacks why am i drawing this so crooked or is the rifle crooked whatever it doesn't matter it's just a picture so the more you hit a single target the more poison stacks are on them uh this q ability she um shoots the healing dart so your healing shots are all skill shots, which is fun. Always fun. Um, there we go. Add the blue. Maybe I'll add in a blue body as well. And the dark. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. And her W is, I think, yeah, the healing grenade. So you throw a grenade, and it heals everyone in the area. And then um, it also boosts any healing received by them by 25% as well. Uh, so you throw the healing grenade and then you use your healing dart on a target and um, it'll increase the healing done to that target. If it hits an enemy, the healing grenade, it's called like biotic grenade. It's not called a healing grenade. But if it hits an enemy, then I think it, I think it hurts them a bit, but then it completely stops any healing done to that enemy, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I haven't actually really played her in a full match, so uh, let me know if I'm getting uh, any of this wrong. I'm going to make the tip of her uh, uh, gun blue, actually. Oops. I think that'll be good. Um, or should I make the rifle? Okay, hold on. Trying out the color schemes. Yeah, that looks better. I like that. Uh, then maybe this. Like that. There we go. Uh, and then her E is a sleep dart. I've been waiting for that mechanic to come in the game for a while. Uh, so basically, it's like a five-second stun, basically. Unless you get hit by someone, you're released from the stun. Um, so as soon as someone hits you, you're released. So if she does a sleep dart and then a minion hits them or anything touches them right away, you're released from it. Uh, so yeah, it's actually a really good setup ability. It's a good escape ability as well if you're it's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is Anna. I'm going to try, uh, actually, I'm going to try another version of Anna. I'm not going to take as much time on it. So let's go ahead and try another one. I'm just going to draw it straight up like I normally do. And we're just going to, again, I, I appreciate the feedback from the other, uh, uh, Kale, no, not Kale Toss. Keltazad. Um, you guys. I decided I was going to put in the chains, by the way. So this is just going to be another Ana. See what we can come up with. Does she have, like, anything else? No. Let's fix. We're going to try with just no open coat. And uh, I'm actually going <laughs> to just steal the uh, gun from this one. To make things a little easier because why not oops so this is slightly different it's mostly just the head um just this part just wanted to see how that looked which doesn't look too bad um i don't know why this isn't there we go uh so that looks pretty good um again she'll probably look more like this in in the uh, in the actual cartoons, actually. Well, when it comes to the body, so that's another option there. 
Um, I don't think there's too many other options other than maybe giving her more of like a cape than a cloak. Let's try one more. Actually, let's let's try something different with the head. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, like that? Hold on, actually. We're going to... There we go. And then have a hair swoopy on this side. Ooh, it's so much more detailed yet not at the same time. Specific. Uh, so there's that. Maybe add a strand here just so it looks more like hair. Whatever. Uh, and then I guess if we wanted to try... more of a cape like which I, I don't think I'm gonna like but I'm just gonna do it anyway I'll do it for you guys there we go uh, I should probably actually make that a different color so not bad all right, there you go. It kind of looks like an eye patch, actually, the, the hair. So I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever. I'm just going to manipulate the line. Uh, okay, so that actually looks pretty cool. I kind of like that one more. <laughs> I didn't think I would. This is why you kind of test things out just to see. Um, but yeah, I think I'm liking um, the last one I did the most. Uh, uh, all around, I think even the head I like better as well, so... Uh, but let me guys, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like number one? I'll draw it up here. Number one, two, or three. Uh, so uh, my thoughts on Anna, uh, Anna, Anna, um, is uh, blasphemy. Is uh, the limited experience and knowledge that I, I've had with her. Um, really cool support. Uh, I think uh, having interesting supports is a great idea. Uh, awesome mechanic to have sleep in there, the sleep dart. Um, her abilities, again, you can't use sleep, the healing dart on yourself. You have to uh, use it on teammates. It's a skill shot, and sometimes you can miss, but it has a relatively pretty short cooldown. Um, and her biotic grenade is also really cool. Um, in a way, it is kind of a new mechanic uh, because it, uh, I don't think there's any other hero that increases the healing received uh, to a target, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, there's been a lot of revamps to a lot of characters, so... Um, her alts, though, are pretty cool. Uh, well, the one is the, uh, st the stim pack type thing, except it's not a stim pack. They changed it to it gives you mana, and it also increases your spell power, which is pretty awesome. So it's it's like stim pack, but for spell power people. <laughs> so that's cool, because I was wondering what they're going to do with that. Uh, my thoughts were like, maybe it'll just... Make cooldowns go faster. Oh, I think it also does that as well. I was thinking maybe uh, this the Ana's stim pack will do. What's it called? I can't remember. This stim pack. <laughs> I know it's blasphemy, but uh, uh, but maybe it'll like make mana and uh, ability cooldowns really quick, like recover really quick or something. But um, they made the spell based around spell power, which I really really like. It's pretty awesome, and it restores mana. So that's uh, what only two characters that can actually do that store other people's mana i think um but anyway uh her other alt is eye of something or other where uh you, you do this and here's you no, wait. He, eye of Ho horus horoscope here's you and then your teammates are over here and then some enemies are over here and uh and then you're like this, this is how far you are away and then you get into a sniper position so here's your sniper rifle. Looks like a rocket launcher. And uh, you basically can shoot anywhere on the map. It does like really, really low damage. Um, if you shoot uh, a ally, it heals them. But if you shoot an enemy, it uh, does damage. You get to shoot like for a limited amount of time, I think, or a couple shots anyway, like, I don't know, eight or something. And I think, I think it's global range. And you just shoot whoever. Uh, if you want to heal or if you want to do damage and you're safe out of position. So it's pretty cool. Again, uh, I really like one thing that I wish they done with Nova because Nova's a sniper too, is that she was more like 
sniper like. Um, however, uh, Anna has a lot of these. Uh, she there's a talent where it makes her go into like a sniper position. She crouches and and increases range, and then she has this as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so maybe Widowmaker will have like super snipey kind of crazy instead of. Anyway, I'm totally off track. All right, I'm going to go, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little draw through. Uh, again, let me know if you like one, two, or three. Um, I'm always reading the comments. I may not always reply, but uh, I'm definitely always reading the comments. And I appreciate the feedback, the last one. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And also, if you don't want to miss any cartoons, P.S., if you don't want to miss any cartoons, because I have seen people go, man, Carbot, thank goodness you're back. I'm like, what the heck? I haven't been gone at all. <laughs> so if you, you don't want to miss any cartoons, because uh, people seem to be under the impression that there hasn't been cartoon for like a month uh, sometimes, click the uh, bell uh, at the bottom just below the screen. That'll give you a notification email every time we release, um, which isn't too often, so it doesn't bug you with emails. Um, but yes, and if you'd like to support the channel uh, by more than just watching, you can do so at patreon.com slash carbot animations. Uh, it's basically an automated tip service. If you want to give us $3 an episode, $1 an episode, um, you can do that. There's even a monthly limit uh, that you can say, I, I will do $2 per episode, but five total each month. It's a really great service. Really awesome that uh, someone uh, has made that. And I think it actually has saved a lot of YouTubers with this adpocalypse that's been going on. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, uh, we're hanging out tomorrow, right? Okay. See you at the cafe. Have a sandwich and a pizza.